Welcome to my beautiful apartment here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you know how to give an apartment tour in English? Is your English good enough? Are you confident enough in your English to give a tour of your house or apartment? Well, I'm going to teach you. But first, I want to tell you how you can use this to make money and get a job. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use this to get a job. In my next video, I'm going to give you a tour of my apartment here and teach you all the English you need to do this yourself. Okay, so all you need is two things. You need English, which I'm going to teach you in the next video, and you need a cell phone with a camera. Hey, isn't that easy? And you could land yourself a job. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If you were to go to another country, just like me, I'm here in Thailand. I'm not Thai, I'm from Canada. Okay, if you go to another country, how would you find a place to live? How would you find an apartment? How do you think I found this apartment here in Thailand? What did I do? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I went on YouTube and I searched for apartment in Chiang Mai or something like that. Chiang Mai apartments, you know, because I wanted to know what do they look like? How much do they cost? You know, do they have a kitchen, right? All these questions, you know, when you go to another country, it's a bit scary. You don't know, you don't know anything. You don't know how to find a place to live. So you look on YouTube, right? You search on YouTube. Maybe you're going to, I don't know, Kyrgyzstan or Bolivia, right? So you search um, apartments in Bishkek, apartments in La Paz, right? You're, you're looking on YouTube because you want answers. Okay, so everybody does that. I do it. You probably would do it. Every person on the face of the earth does that if you travel to another country. I hope you have enough money to travel someday to another country. I'm just, I'm really enjoying my life here in Chiang Mai. See these beautiful green trees behind me? In Canada, it's the winter right now. Everything is covered in snow. We don't have green trees. So I'm very thankful I can escape Canada for the winter. And maybe you can do that if you're from a cold country like me. So my idea is you're going to make a video giving a tour of your apartment and you're going to upload that video to YouTube. Now, I've just recently made several videos on how to start a YouTube channel, what kind of equipment you need so you can go check out those videos. Okay, so you're going to make a video, upload it to YouTube, and then you're going to send the link to a real estate company in your city and you're going to ask for a job. You're going to say, dear manager, uh, my name is Mary. I would like to work for your company. When foreigners come to our country, they look on YouTube for a place to live. I would like to make videos giving tours of all your properties that you have for sale or rent. And foreigners will be attracted to your company. And I don't know. Okay, I'll write a template for you. I'll write the email how I think, how I think the email should be. And I'll post that email down there in the description, okay? Then you can just copy that and paste it and send it to a real estate company in your city, right? No matter where you live, this I think this idea could really work. Now, I want you to see an example of what I'm talking about. So I posted a link to a video down there in the description. So I want you to pause this video right now and go watch that video down there. It's only like a minute long. Okay. The video is of a Thai woman. I think she's Thai, um, giving a, an apartment tour here in somewhere in Thailand. So I want you to make the same kind of video. It would be so easy. All you need is a camera. You can do it yourself, right? You just, maybe you could buy a cheap tripod. You need your cell phone and, and you need to speak English. That's it. Okay, so in my next video, I'll give you an example here in my apartment of how to do that. Okay, that would be so easy. How do you think that woman 
in the video got her job. How do you think? You know, maybe she applied to the real estate company, or maybe the real estate company found her. I mean, it doesn't really matter how she got the job. What's important is, is how you can get the job, okay? You know, she's probably not making those videos for free. I don't know, maybe she just likes giving apartment tours. But I think it would be safe to assume she's somehow making money from the company. She's either an employee or a contractor or something. Somehow she's getting money, right? So you make a video, you upload it to YouTube, and it, it doesn't need to be a long video, right? Like her video is just short, like a minute or two minutes. Okay, make a short video of you speaking English, send it to the company and ask for a job. Because if the company can see you actually doing that, and if you tell them how it could benefit them, I mean, everybody knows this. Everybody knows when, when I go to a country, I look on YouTube. I'm not the only one, right? Like I said, everybody does this. So if you can, if you can give them, that company, some value, you know, help them make money or, or help, help them get more exposure, right? Everyone knows on having an online presence is really important, right? So, so if you can speak English and you can sort of have enough confidence to actually give an apartment tour in English, you know, I think the company is going to hire you, you know, just like that woman in the video. She did a great job. She spoke English, you know, she showed, she showed the apartment. So this is so easy. You could do it yourself. And, and trust me, you know, if I were a company, I would, if I were like a real estate company, I would want to hire you if, if, if you made a video like this, or if I go to your country, you know, maybe you live in some country in the world, Azerbaijan, or I don't know, Portugal or something. When I come to your country or your city, I'm going to be looking on YouTube and I hope I find your video. You know, maybe, maybe you'll even have a job by then. Maybe you can actually help me get an apartment in your city. Wouldn't that be cool? And maybe your, your YouTube videos will get so popular that you can start making money directly from YouTube. Okay. So, so you could, you could make money two ways from this idea. You could get a job or, you know, you might get money straight from YouTube if, if you get to the point where you can monetize your channel, like I talked about in some of my past videos. Okay, so, so these ideas, I just wanna help you guys, guys get some ideas for what kinds of videos to make and, and how it could really benefit you. You know, real people like the woman in the video, I don't know how she got the job, but you could get a job the way I'm talking about. Just make, make a video, have a YouTube channel, and you know, you might not even have your own condo. You could, you could ask your friend if you can make a video in their condo, or you could, you could give a tour of a local park, just a park that you go for free. You know, so, so if a company, it doesn't have to be a real estate company, but I think this would be a, a very easy thing to do, right? To send your video to a real estate company. If they can see that you are presentable, you know, your English is good, you can, you can give a tour. I mean, why would they not hire you? That would be awesome, right? Like I said, if I were a real estate company, I would try to hire lots of people to, to show my apartments, to show the, you know, that maybe a house or any, any kind of property, you know, it doesn't need to be an apartment or a house. It could be commercial property. You know, companies need people like you to show, to show their, to show their, their properties, to show what they have to sell. You know why? Because they're too scared to make a video themselves. You know, it's, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of courage to make a YouTube video, to speak English. You know, maybe, maybe you're not very confident with your English. Well, I hope my next video will help you get a bit more confident. You can do it, you know, and next thing you know, you might have an awesome job with a real estate company just making videos. You could work with a friend, you know, maybe you could get a, a cameraman to like follow you around, or you could just make it with your cell phone like I'm gonna show you in the next video. Okay, so I'm just trying to help give you guys some ideas how you can, how you can really use YouTube to your advantage, how you could maybe get a, a good job just with such a simple idea.
Okay, I'm telling you, these kinds of things, you know, what's the what, what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, the worst thing that could happen is you don't get a job. Well, you know, whatever, you just keep trying, right? If you try, you will succeed. If you don't try, well, then you're guaranteed not to succeed. I think it was Wayne Gretzky, the most famous Canadian hockey player, who said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? If you want to score a goal, you have to shoot the puck or you have to kick a, a soccer ball, right? If you don't try, you, you are guaranteed to, to fail. And right now, if you are unemployed or you're looking for a better job, you're looking for a change in life or something, I'm telling you, this idea could really work. I wish I had done this a few years ago, you know, and if I, if I didn't have my YouTube channel right now, I would do this right now. It would be a fun job. Imagine going to, uh, you know, going to different apartments, making, making apartment tour videos. Okay, so, so in the next lesson tomorrow, I'm going to teach you all the English you need, you know, transition words and phrases like the first thing you'll notice when you enter the living room is the beautiful artwork on the walls. Okay, so you're transitioning maybe from the, from the entryway into the living room. And you can say, all right, now as we enter the living room, the first thing you'll notice is, you know, the, the, the large TV or the modern furniture or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to teach you transition words and phrases, also descriptive words like cozy. Okay, you shouldn't use the word small when you're describing a, a condo. You should rather use the word cozy, right? It's a, it's a cozy kitchen or a cozy living room or, you know, a cozy balcony. Okay, so I look forward to giving you guys a tour of my apartment here tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you over in tomorrow's episode of the apartment tour. <laughs> Take care.